morning. It's Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday because I just did a morning, seven in the clock morning run with my little running group. But I'm keeping a secret for now. Not a very good secret, but you know, a pseudo secret. How are ya? How are you doing? I have a doctor's appointment today. And I don't feel too apprehensive about it. Those of you that know that like, I've been having a weird thing with my throat for like the last six months to a year. I don't even know how long. So I'm finally going to an ENT to see what the heck is going on. And uh, yeah, good thing I'm up early because I got to get to the doctor's office in not too long anyway. So uh, I guess I'll go get showered up and head uh, to the doctor's office. Doctor's visits in, in France are actually way less stressful than I feel like they were in America. And maybe that's just because I know it's only going to cost me like 20 euros, but still, you know, it's a little bit. On a more exciting note, uh, right after that, I'm gonna have a birthday lunch with Pushan, which would be great if you've been missing on, on the Pushan action. He did come to our birthday drinks on the river, which is great, but have him in the vlog. And uh, yeah, I feel like there's something else happening this afternoon. Don't remember what it is, but I'm gonna finish running home now. Goodbye to my favorite ladies on the street. Bye. I'll see you soon. Well, ladies on this street specifically. Ladies of the street. Well, I made it all the way down here and at least had coffee before, well, realizing that I didn't bring my prescription with me. So now I have to run all the way home, get the prescription and then go to this ENT. So, so much for my leisurely post run waffle. I gotta also cut back on the waffles just a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to, but I probably should. They're delicious, but you know, gotta start uh, pulling it back a little bit. So I'm gonna run home, get that prescription. The way that it works in France, at least in my experience, I don't know if this is universal, but my in my experience with the medical system here in France is that kind of like everything is done by prescription. It's kind of like getting an order in the States, uh, but he literally wrote on a prescription pad uh, what he wanted me to get from this ENT. So I'm gonna be bouncing down with a literal piece of paper and just show up and be like, hey, uh, I have an appointment, here's the thing. I, I can't read it, I hope you can read it because it's, it's very scribbly. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. I'll be honest, I'm not excited about this because I, I think that I might be getting a camera shoved down my throat, which for the amount of time that I spend around cameras, you'd think would be uh, you know fairly comfortable Ev evolution of things for me, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna be, so uh, oh, 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 well, we'll find out. But anyways, you go in for your appointment, they do what they do, you give them your uh, carte vitale, which sometimes means you don't have to pay anything on the spot. I think usually you do, uh, and then you get a reimbursement later for whatever it was. So, that's kind of the ins and outs of it. The carte vitale is like your national, it's like your identity card within the healthcare system, so you can't use it to buy pizza or anything, which is definitely, you know, I've tried, it doesn't work, but you can use it to get medical care, and that's kind of awesome. Super awesome, to be honest. So, anywho, uh, let's pick up that piece of paper and then get to the doctor and then go get lunch with Pushan. There is something about going to the doctor's office that, like, I'm not a huge fan of, you know? I don't know what it is. Well, I think all of us kind of have our hesitancies with it, right? But maybe as an American as well, knowing that, uh, I don't know, doctors are expensive. <laughs> and they're not here, so I'm trying to overcome that reluctance and, uh, you know, be a good adult and take care of myself. It's just kind of funny how when you're a kid, it's your parents that do it for you. Then when you're an adult, all of a sudden, if you don't take yourself to the doctor, no one's going to. Not to like 
start defining adulthood in obvious ways for you or anything. It's just one of those funny things that, like, doctor's visits for me are something that I really, really reluctantly make. Also partially because I think maybe I've got the, you know, the toughness thing going on. Like, I'm like, I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. I'm going to heal up just fine by myself. Whatever it is. I don't mean to be macho, <laughs> but the, one of the benefits to going back uh, after forgetting my prescription was that I was able to brush my teeth, which I'm sure they'll appreciate, instead of having coffee breath. Now they'll have minty, fresh, delicious J breath. Delicious J, what, the, what does that even mean? Overall, I'd say so far my experience in the French medical system has been, you know, pleasant. There's always the additional stress of not knowing for sure what the vocabulary you want to be using is, like just random stuff about anatomy or feelings or whatever. It, you might not really have, at least for me, I definitely have moments when I'm like, wait, what's the word for, you know, throat, la gorge, oh no, you know, so I have moments where uh, it can be a little bit stressful, but I've also kind of gotten to a place where I'm like, I'm here, I'm fine, like we're gonna work through it. Like I don't, I thankfully don't get that stressed out by it anymore, but it was kind of stressful. The first few times I went into doctor's offices, I haven't been to a dentist here yet, which I definitely need to do. You know, I'm just like, man, there's definitely, a, there's a level of complexity and a level of discomfort that prevent me from being like, you know, super actively involved in uh, medical care, but it also helps that I'm generally really healthy. So that engenders its own form of laziness when problems do crop up. Which they do, occasionally. So far, nothing really bad, but, you know. A member of it the information society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. Literally just walked in here, and they know I'm here because I had to buzz to get in. Anyways, I'll give you a status report when this is all over. This is gonna be a really weird experience. Well, that wasn't bad. It was pretty quick. Uh, basically, he just checked me out. He shoved a... That ringing's not helping. <laughs> he basically, yeah, he checked me out. He looked in my ears and my throat, my nose, as an ENT is likely to do. Didn't see anything abnormal. He didn't see anything to be concerned about. And uh, so he's forwarding me on to a speech therapist, I think, uh, to maybe figure out if there's something I can do, to, uh, some exercise or some way to talk differently, to sound a little bit better. And uh, then prescribed me a little bit of some antacid just because he was like, well, because I thought maybe maybe it's a little bit of heartburn. And he, uh, he was like, well, I mean, yeah, maybe. We'll see, just to see if that's the case. So we'll try that out, see if it gets any better. But it's so high up, it's like right where I talk. It like hurts, like right there. Just seems kind of mystery, it's mysterious. But for those of you that were guessing that it was vocal nodes, uh, he didn't see any, so apparently I'm node free. I don't get to join the halls of all the famous singers whose voices gave way. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some coffee and get a little bit of work done until we have some push on time. I think he might be here working, and uh, then it's lunch. Salut. <laughs> freedom uh all right change the mode two things one uh, that i forgot i was really distracted earlier today by the by the the whole doctor thing and i it kind of threw me off i ordered the van move last night thank you so much to everybody who pitched in for that because holy cow i'm really 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 excited about it uh it's gonna get delivered in like a month and a half to two months i wish it was here today but i'm, I'm really excited so i'll keep you posted on that don't you worry don't you worry and the other thing i was gonna say was Something else? I don't remember. Bouchon, what was I gonna say? Uh, you're gonna let me ride your bad move first. Oh, yep, there you go. That's, that was it. The people, they, they crave more Bouchon. Here's the mask free version of that sweepy shot. Break it down. Don't get hit by the lime.
Trump's favorite shot of any video. Pizza with hummus, better than you think. Hey man, well, uh, drive by elbow. Thanks for the happy, the birthday pizza. Catch you a bit, yeah, walk that off. See you later, man. I remembered what the other thing I was gonna say was, the book finally got through production, theoretically. It's available on Amazon, soon. I don't know about now, by the time you're seeing this, it might be available on Amazon. It might take another day or two, but check, be, you know, aware. See of the Unknown, my book. If you wanted it in paperback, you should be able to get it off Amazon here soon. Bad timing, right? Right in the middle of traffic with that truck. You should be able to get it off of Amazon shortly. I'm gonna go pick up some stuff. There are probably, apparently a couple of packages for me at the Peloton, so I'm gonna go pick those up. Then I need to do a mail run back to my uh, real apartment because apparently I've got some mail out there, or hopefully I've got some mail out there. And then, that, that should do it. I think that's enough for one day. Don't you think? I think that's enough. Hey, hey. 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 where's the gut? Where's the dog? He's alive. Uh, we almost had a Gustav sighting. I'm sure we'll have one here someday soon. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Anyways, mail call. And then I was like, oh yeah, I uh, I don't know, rode my bike 30 kilometers yesterday and ran a 10K this morning and it might have even been more. It took us a long ways. For those of you that want to do like brewery tours and so forth, they're good. Definitely just get, you know, ride a bike at least once before you go. So that, yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit out of uh, biking. I'm not biking shape, but like cardio and leg wise, fine. More, you know, parts of your legs and so forth that maybe need to be used to being on a bike seat for a long time before being on a bike seat for a long time. Anywho, I'm gonna try and get some work done here for a little bit and uh, put the second monitor to use. I'm looking forward to doing a gear video here soon too. I'm within striking distance, I think what, like four days or something like that of the end of season five, season five of my daily vlog. Uh, which will bring about a break. I've got a project, Pushan and I were talking about today, uh, doing a project with him next week, which is gonna be a little bit of a palate cleanser. And then I'm gonna try and sit and write for a little bit. And so uh, originally the dates have shifted around. We were gonna be working on his project over this weekend. It's moved to next week. Uh, so I'm gonna finish out the regular schedule that I had set out for my daily vlog. Uh, but I might start up a little bit later on the, the next season, not much later, like, but give myself, I wanna give myself like a solid week to really focus on like writing while also uh, getting a little bit of admin work done. The problem is it's hard, it's really hard to write and vlog at the same time. I've talked about that before, it's nothing new. Uh, but like I did a bad job of it last time and I, I was thinking about it. I sat down and I wrote a long email to myself today when I was waiting for Prashan at uh, the coffee shop and it was really good. And I was thinking in terms of like, where am I gonna be in five years? Like things, my life is changing so dramatically and so quickly in some ways, very slowly in other ways, but um, you know, where am I gonna be and what do I want it to look like? And the writing and the, the fiction and so much of it is really just a huge part of where I wanna be in the next few years that, well, yeah, that or it just in my future in general, I gotta make sure that I'm, I'm giving it some real time. Like I, I've got a very clear path forward on how to make it uh, something that's more actively part of my life. Um, I just have to actually do it. And so now I'm in that place of like having to be disciplined and actually make it happen and get it done. But at the same time, I really, really love vlogging and making YouTube videos and being here and sharing my life with you via the YouTubes and the internets. It's a really cool opportunity to do that as well. So yeah, I just gotta find the right balance. And that's the trick. So anyways, I'll tell you more about that or I'll let you know what's going on as it, as it comes. In the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. I'm gonna open the window and turn on a fan because it is sweltering in here. And thanks you to my patron producer of the day, Cheryl and Fiore. I really appreciate you being here. And uh, thanks to all my patrons. To all of you for watching. But Cheryl, thanks for uh, sponsoring me out for my birthday pizza with Pushan. And thanks to Pushan for buying me birthday lunch. That was really nice. And he's got a present for me here soon too. So <laughs> it's going to be a great week all around. And tomorrow. And I will see you brand early tomorrow morning uh, for a little bit more madness. A special guest who you have never seen in my vlog before, but who some of you are definitely going to recognize when you see him. And no, I'm not talking about Gustav, but yes, if we're lucky, Gustav. I'll see you tomorrow for that.